I, I got to watch what I, what I want to say a, a little bit, but um, I'm really upset at how we finished. Um, whether you win or lose or how hard you play and compete, um, we didn't play well, but I thought we at least fought like crazy. Uh, but that last five or six minutes, uh, I'm going to have to watch it, but I, I'm really disappointed with, with our body language, how hard we played, um, just the way we acted in general. Whether you're a, star, a, a, you know, a, a starter, a senior, uh, or a bench player that, that doesn't get very much coming off the bench. And it might be me, it might be emotional because I'm upset at how uh, poorly we played, but you don't end games like that. I don't care if you're down 20 or, or up 20. Uh, so I'm a little disgusted and embarrassed by that, and I apologize to our fans uh, the way we looked at the end of that game. And uh, believe me, we're going to get to work and we'll, we'll fix that. But um, I thought Missouri State, who's, again, as talented as anybody in the league, uh, very good, made a lot of shots. We let them get going early. I think they were seven for nine. Uh, from three at half, we weren't making anything, and they were making a lot of stuff, and um, it affected our defense in a negative way. They're they're a difficult team to defend, uh, but we need to be better than uh, than what we were tonight. And uh, offensively, some shots got to drop, but uh, just didn't like the way we acted. So uh, disappointed in that more than anything. Questions, please. I got thought Missouri State kind of dictated the game with their defense. Uh, they did hit a lot of shots. But I don't. I don't think it was that at all. I think they made shots, and uh, we got good shots. I don't know how many. I, th I can't remember what we were at halftime, uh, but whether it be a turnover uh, or a missed shot, I thought our offense was pretty good. But you can't go. You can't let them. They were 80% from the three, 50% from two point, and five for five from the line in the first half. I mean, we did. We we, we weren't offering enough enough fight, and if they missed, they'd get an offensive rebound, and. Um, uh, we, we stuck around, you know, we fought and we stuck around, kind of got back in. They got up a double digits and we, we hung in there and it was, it was seven at half where we made a mistake right at the end of the half uh, with giving them that three-point play. But uh, we're still right in the game. And we're, we, I can't remember what we cut it to as the best was a four. Cut it to four and um, had a couple substitutions and all of a sudden it's a transition basket, transition basket, uh, uncontested three because of our lack of communication and tra our transition defense. Uh, took a step back tonight. You, I mean, that was it was really poor. And then um, again, uh, I can't get over how we were acting down the stretch, so it's going to stick with me a little bit. But their ability to score, yes, they hit some shots, but I mean, how disappointed are you in that? that you know, it's home game and you want to. You know, well, yeah, yeah. I, I think we've been playing pretty good. I mean, Brad, you know, we, we fought Bradley. They're one of the best teams in the league. They're rolling right now. These guys are one of the best teams in the league. They're rolling right now. We got another one of the best teams. Uh, in the league coming in here that's not going to be easy and it, it shouldn't be easy and if you want to finish in the upper half of this league you're going to have to fight and scratch and claw and we've been playing well here <clears throat> our last game here was Loyola you know so we've been playing pretty well here we only have one road win but t tonight was disappointing we did not play well um, and it and it showed we got we got what we deserved What was that one? Jake? Yeah, he, 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 he got him enough. He got him. But, I mean, the team didn't respond to that. No, but, again, I mean, that's – he's young. Jake is young. Jake can, competes. Yeah, I will never say – I don't care what the, the, the score is at the end of the game. He, he's going to compete and he's going to fight. Uh, that's what I love about him. Um, but that affects the other guys negative. You can't have show negative body language. You foul three points. Still going to be at the most – a seven-point game. Sure, it's disappointing, but there's seven minutes. You said seven minutes. There's seven minutes left in the game. There's tons of time. Get it right back. Go back down and score on them. And go back down and get a stop. Uh, you can't have uh, something negative impact you on, on the next possession. And, and that's that's we're we got too many veterans for that to happen. I'll give the young guys a break, but um, our leadership wasn't as good as it needed to be tonight on the floor or in the huddles. Well, the scout reports out a little bit on how to guard him, you know, and we're watching tons of film with him. We're running stuff for him. We're showing him how they're doing. We're t telling him what he needs to do. Um, tonight was a night he needed to, if you play on top of him, you have to back cut and th threaten the rim and get him chasing you. And he just has some trouble with that. He, 
he wants to run to the ball. He wants to go get the ball and run to the ball. And then um, you got one guy that's in you, and you got five guys looking at you. So it's 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 they've made it hard on him. We got to continue to help him because he's a good player and a good scorer. But um, it's more, you know, he he works diligently on his game. This is more of the mental side of watching tape and understanding because he's going to see the same thing everywhere, you know. And if he has to be a decoy, he's got to be a decoy because then it's four on four elsewhere. Okay, but uh, it's frustrating for him. I know he he was still working uh, on the defensive end. He had a pretty good night defensively for us, but uh, I know it, that we got to get him going better than what he was tonight. We're going, we're going to practice, and we're going to practice hard because I'm not pleased with that at all. I'm not pleased with our body language. We haven't shown that. Even when we were struggling at the start of the year, we haven't shown that, um, and that's not acceptable. Hey, Coach, how do you prepare for Northern Iowa? We're going to practice. We're going to practice hard. We're going to worry a lot more about us in, in the next two days. Uh, we know how good they are. But uh, we're going to have to be the best we can be to have a chance to, to play with them. So and after tonight's game, what's the one thing you learned that you guys need particularly to work on? The one thing, all that I can think about is how we finished. I would all say body language and competitiveness.